In this video, I will show you how to make a new Microsoft account on your Xbox Series S or X. If you do have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial, feel free to drop that down in the comment section down below the video. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So as you can see, I'm here on my Xbox dashboard. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and press the Xbox Guide button on your controller. Then on this menu that comes up, what you want to do is make sure you're selected onto the top and then you want to go ahead and go right until you get to your profile and system menu. From here, just come down once to where it says add or switch and then press A on your controller. So what you need to do next, as you can see, we've got some options at the bottom to either add a guest account or add a new account. So to go ahead and make a new Microsoft account, we need to select this option, which says add new. So it says here, if you do have a Microsoft account, use that here. Otherwise, enter your preferred email address or phone number to create a new account. So what I'm going to do is just put that in here. So once you've done that, just go ahead and press start on your controller to be taken to this screen. And now what you need to do is enter your first name. Once that's done, go ahead and press start on your controller. And then you need to enter your surname. Next, what you need to do is go ahead and select a password. And then just go ahead and enter your password again to confirm. And next it's going to ask you to enter your birthday. Now it says here if a child uses this device, select their date of birth to create a child account. So a child account is an account that's basically under the age of 13 and it's just restricted on certain features of the Xbox. So you just want to do this next. And now we're on a screen which says help us protect your account. Passwords can be forgotten or stolen. We need some security info to make sure that you are you. So what you can do in this step, you can either add a recovery email address or you can add your phone number. It's completely up to you, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna add my phone number. So on the next screen, you'll be taken to a screen like this. And basically this is to agree to the Microsoft services agreement and privacy statement. So also there's a box, but this is optional, which says I would like information, tips and offers about Microsoft products and services. So if you do want to receive that information, tick the box and then come down and press next. Now what's gonna happen is gonna ask you to verify your email address. And so now what you need to do is check the email address that you signed up with, and there should be a email from Microsoft with a code. So you wanna do that and enter the code into the box here. On the next screen you'll be taken to, this is basically preferences for offers and info. So what you can do, these are optional, but basically you can see the first option says, keep me up to date with the latest from Xbox. And you've got a second option there to share your email address with publishers of games and apps that you use on Xbox. So these are completely optional. You don't have to tick these, but if you want to receive info and things like that, just tick the relevant boxes and then come down and press next at the bottom. So next is gonna ask you to create your gamer tag. So your gamer tag is your name on Xbox. So it's not like your personal name or something like that. It's basically a tag. So you can put whatever you want into here and it has to be up to 12 characters, including spaces, and you cannot start with a number. So for the purpose of this one, I'm just gonna call my gamertag tech tutor YT, and then we're gonna press start to confirm. And then it's gonna go ahead and check to see if your gamertag's available. If it's available, it's gonna give you a tick saying good to go. If it's not, you're gonna have to enter something else. So again, once that's done, just press next at the bottom. Then what it's gonna do is take you to this screen which says level up your gaming experience. So on here, you can see it says, Xbox always collects required data necessary to keep products safe, secure, up to date, and performing as expected. You can help make Xbox products and services better by providing account level optional diagnostic data, which includes data about your app and feature use and enhanced error reports. So basically what this does, if you opt into this, it's going to, when you have like bugs on your games and things like that, some information will be sent to Xbox. So you can look into this bugs and stop things like that happening into the future. Now you don't have to do this. It's completely optional. As you can see, it says, yes, I'm in or no thanks. You can see at the bottom, it says you can always change your mind in settings and we never sell your data. So in today's tutorial, I'm just gonna select, yes, I'm in for this one. Then what it's going to do is give you the privacy statement so you can read through this and then press next. Now what it's going to do is offer you some sign in and security preferences. So you've got three different options. You've got no barriers, which means on this Xbox console, people can sign you in, see your data on web pages that use your Microsoft account, change your settings and buy things without extra steps. You've got the option to ask for a pin, which means what happens is you can select a pin and a pin will be asked before you do things like sign into your account, buy things, launch Microsoft Edge or change your settings. What you can do is lock it down, which is the highest security level, which means you'll need to 
or for assigning in, buying things, launching Microsoft Edge and changing settings using your account. So of course this is all down to personal preference, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and select no barriers. Then it's gonna ask, how do you want to sign in? So there is a feature called instant sign-in and basically instant sign-in is ready to play as soon as this Xbox console is turned on. Only one person can use instant sign-in. Alternatively, what you can do is link the controller you're holding to your profile and we'll sign you into this Xbox console as soon as the controller is turned on. So if you want, you can use the instant sign in, the link controller option, or you can just go ahead and skip if you don't want to do that. So I'm just going to skip this for now. Now it's going to ask, do you want to make this your home Xbox? Now by doing this, when you make this your home Xbox, people can play your downloaded games without you being signed in. So of course they can play well offline, they can share the, you can share the Xbox Game Pass benefits and you can share games and downloadable content with other users of the console. Now you only get five switches per year. Of course, again, this is optional. If you don't want to do this right now, just press maybe later or if you do want to do it you have got the option to make home xbox so i'm just going to select maybe later for now next is going to ask for your color so to choose a color i'm going to leave this set to green and press next now what it says is here's how you look on xbox so gamer tags and gamer picks represent people on this xbox console and in the xbox community choose a different gamer pick or gamer tag by going to settings, general personalization, and my profile. Control who can see your profile in settings, account, privacy, and online safety. Now, this is your default gamer pick. It's gonna select one for you, but you can change this. Don't worry about that. I do have a tutorial for this on my channel, so you can check that out if you wanna change that also. So now we're just gonna go ahead and press next. And what's gonna happen now, it's going to give you normally an offer to join Game Pass, but if you don't wanna do this straight away, just come to the right and press no thanks. And now we are all good to go. So as you can see, our account is now created and we are now on the dashboard for the new account. And what you can do is press the guide button on your controller. So again, the big white button in the middle here. And if you come to the far right, you can see your profile icon. You can see I've currently got my other one signed in. So you can actually press add or switch and you can switch between accounts from here. So that is how to make a new Microsoft account on the Xbox Series S or X. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.